All right, just going to do a video once again showing how JaxMax 7.7, or as I call them, JaxMax 6.6.6, once again shows the uh, unfruitful end results of this antinomian heresy, which he openly says that he is following. He openly calls himself an antinomian. So uh, you can go on his channel to search up the word antinomian on his channel, and he openly says that about himself. So he himself admits that he is an antinomian, uh, peaches his antinomian heresy. Of course, he wouldn't say it's a heresy, but check out this video of his. Uh, let me just do a full screen. Make sure I'm full screen. Uh, he does uh, go against Calvinism, which is obviously I would agree with. I mean, and this video is meant, meant supposedly meant to go against Calvinism, which I've done my own stuff, uh, exposing and refuting Calvinism. So I don't have a problem with that. Uh, Calvinism is obviously of the devil. Calvinism is a satanic religion, a satanic false perversion of the biblical Christian faith. But uh, look at this video where he's supposedly refuting and attacking Calvinism, and just watch how this just shows the end result of this antinomian uh, heresy that he, he says. Watch this. Oh, yeah, and also, uh, quick warning about the vexing uh, sounds and imagery you're going to see as well. Because again, this is the fruits of antinomianism. Also notice too how in the game he's shooting cops. He basically is playing the role, I think it's like GTA 5 or whatever it is, but he's basically playing the role of a, of a convenience store robber and he's shooting cops as, they, as they're walking in. Yeah, real nice right there. Real, real quality content to put on a Christian YouTube channel. <laughs> sure. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you put on a Bible-believing YouTube channel, right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, I think we've seen enough so far. I mean, this, this again, this is the end result of this antinomianism. This right here. Playing a game where he's robbing a convenience store. You know, thou shalt not steal. But no, never mind, we'll just put it in a video game. And then shooting cops as they're trying to, you know, again, I know it's a video game, but look, look what he's, I mean, why would you put that on your channel? <laughs> it's supposedly a Bible-believing channel. Shooting, you know, police officers as they come into, you know, in, in the game or whatever. Blasting this this you know Satanist death metal music over his uh, video supposedly to attack Calvinism, you know I've done videos on my channel refuting Calvinism. Uh, you go by scripture. You don't you know weird how he thinks that this is gonna go against Calvinism. But uh, this is uh, let me give some scriptures on the matter. These are some verses that Jack Smack six 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 and his little antinomian idolaters will not be able to really handle or cope with. Uh, Galatians chapter five. Verse 13, because we do have liberty under the New Testament. But notice how these guys, they abuse that. Galatians 5.13, for brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Maybe like playing a, a game while blasting Satanist music over it. Uh, but by love, serve one another. But you see what, what uh, Jack Smack 666 doing is he's using liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Uh, and, and some verses in Romans 6, these ones destroy antinomianism. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Well, Jack Smack would say, yeah, we can do that. But what does Paul say? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? You jump down to verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? God forbid. So it seems that the Apostle Paul, I guess the Apostle Paul was, an, was a work salvationist then. You know, and by the way, too, you know, before he accuses me of being a lordship salvationist, let me just point something out. Mm -hmm. uh, I reject. What was that? Uh, never mind. Okay, I reject the whole work salvation pelagian. See, you have a whole false dichotomy. On one side, you have these these lawless antinomians like Jack Smack Seven Seven, and then on the, on the extreme other side, you have these hyper work salvationists, you know, self righteous pelagians on the other side. Both sides are false. Okay, both sides are teaching false gospels. 
plain and simple. I don't subscribe to either one. The biblical stand is that salvation is not by your works. There is free grace, okay? Romans chapter 5, verse 15 to 18 talks about that, how it's a free gift. However, after your salvation is there's that the sanctification that comes in. You see the, the the Pelagian work salvationist heretics like Jesse Morell or Dan Corner, they actually reject that. They say that you have to basically live holy for your salvation or to merit your salvation. That's not true. So the, the holiness is after your salvation. It's the changed life, the post-salvation changed life. It's not to be saved or to stay saved. But then on the extreme other side, you got the Jack Smack 7-7 who say that, who do say there is no works part of salvation, but then after your salvation, you just live however you want and there's no chastening of the Lord. You can There's no accountability for that. You see, both sides reject the post-salvation change life. Both sides are teaching false gospels. It's a whole, I call it a doctrinal false dichotomies. Is that what I like to use the terminology for that? Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not a work salvationist. Okay. Pelagianism is, I have videos on my channel refuting Pelagianism as well. It's every bit as false and heretical as this antinomianism, because again, it's a whole doctrinal false dichotomy. Uh, which other verse I was going to go to Jude chapter one, verse four. Uh, for there are certain men crept in unawares like Jack Smack seven, seven, or also, uh, Pelagian heretics like Dan Corner. Uh, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, maybe like playing a game where you're robbing a convenience store and shooting cops to come to arrest you, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the blunt and brutal reality of it all. And the scripture on the matter. Uh, where is it? I think it's Ephesians. And this is kind of more in light of the of the game he's playing. And again, I know it's just a video game, but look what it's simulating. Ephesians chapter 4, uh, 4 verse 28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, the, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Then you got also let no corrupt communication, verse 29. Let, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Hmm. I don't think blasting satanic, you know, Satanist death metal music is good, is, is good unto edifying, you know. It's that simple. So yeah, that's this. This is just the end results of this antinomian lawless heresy. That simple. Don't be deceived by Jack Smack seven seven. May the grace of our right, yeah, like I said, Jack Smack six six six. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.